Um, most of you were at the underpass dedication, so we won't have a lot of redundancy here. The idea was uh, to show that, that connectivity, and, and so we really loved having the opportunity to do the ribbon cutting there and then take the ride here to show how easy it is to really get around town and how important these types of installations are. Um, so we're super excited and really appreciate you all being here for this. Um, I want to kick it off with some thank yous. Uh, there's so many people that it takes to, to make something like this happen, and, and some of them are really unsung heroes. And so I'd really like to start off with some of the unsung heroes that make something like this happen. Um, uh, first and foremost, we've got Les McDonald, who has been key in all of our transportation infrastructure for a long time, and we're terribly happy to have him with us. It's great to see him. Uh, Kevin Lilly and the engineering group, Bob Bouvel in particular, really put a ton of work into this. Um, Steve Schulte, who's our, our street and fleet manager. Kyle Steele with our environmental services group. Some of these things that you know you don't think about, but it takes getting permits through the Corps of Engineers, and that can take a long time, and like all those things, they have to be coordinated. Obviously, our city council and our elected officials are the ones that, that give the direction and, and give the funding and make this whole thing happen. Um, Tammy Gray, Tammy Gray put together our whole party here today, and she takes care of getting everything wrangled and just behind the scenes, wonderful help. Uh, we had great support from, from the community, and especially from this neighborhood, to especially to put this party together. The idea was we'd have something a little more formal. We'll have a few speeches here, a little more casual, and really we want to get across the way and have a little bit of a party and celebrate the connectivity in our, in our community. Um, so, you know, a lot of neighborhood partners, in particular, uh, Becker Goose and Linda Pike, uh, who really helped us out. Um, the DiGiorno's, they're the reason we've got power to this right now, and that the ice cream sandwiches are staying frozen on the other side. Uh, the community really came together and, and helped a ton, and we really appreciate that. Um, and then some contractors that they knew that we were on an expedited schedule for this, and they dropped a lot of things and reprioritized some stuff, in particular uh, Halverson Construction, McCall's Classic Concrete, and Motley and Motley, who all helped put this all together. And so I know it's kind of boring thank yous, but really critical people that we thank for, for all the hard work. So with that, uh, what we're going to do, we have, like I said, some brief comments today from people. What we, what we really want to emphasize with this is how many people's lives are impacted by, by infrastructure like this. We talked about the importance of transportation infrastructure, um, but it really does change people's lives. Uh, you know, it, it, I'll remember, I remember the first time I, I went on a, a mobility um, workshop and I was asked to get around in a wheelchair and I'd, I'd never had to do that. I'd never, I'd never done that before. And things that seem like a minor obstacle when I was just walking, or, or I wouldn't even notice, you just step over something, all of a sudden became an insurmountable uh, obstacle. It might, have, it, might have, it might as well have been a 10 foot brick wall because it kept me from being able to get places that I needed to go. And obviously, this creek here in this location is more like the 10 foot brick wall uh, in reverse, a ravine that, that it keeps people from getting to critical places. And so we're so excited to have this connection. Um, and so we're going to have some people to talk about the critical nature of connections like this. Um, our schedule for today, we're going to have uh, comments from Phil Cook from our Transportation Commission. They were integral through this process. Um, and then we will have uh, Aaron Bacon with our Safe Routes to School talk about the impact on, safe, on uh, transportation for school children. Um, and then we'll have Mark with the Disability Action Center talk about uh, the impact that that has on, on the mobility challenge people in our community. After which, Mayor Lambert will give our keynote. Um, uh, Mayor, Mayor Lambert, immediately after his comments, is going to move on to the ribbon cutting, and then he will lead an initial crossing of the bridge. Uh, at that point, we've got some folks from the Disability Action Center that are going to accompany the mayor first, along with any school children that we have here. Please move up as the mayor goes to cut the ribbon, because he's going to lead that initial crossing. And then we'll, we'll have uh, a party on the other side. So with that, I'm going to kick it right over to Phil Cook.